Hey there, and welcome to this video about PHP Unit. So we can see here that PHP Unit is a programmer-oriented testing framework for PHP, and we can use this to do unit testing in our PHP web application. And unit testing is really important to do because it will give us a structured approach to testing, and we can reuse the test when we have written them and see that our program still passes. So it's a really nice thing to do. But how do we do this? How do we write these unit tests? I have a small program that we can use uh, as an example, so we can see how we write these unit tests with PHP unit. We have a small application that is a really basic calculator written in PHP, and we have uh, number one and number two, and then we have an operand uh, drop down here, so we can see if we divide 10 by two or something like this, we get the result here, so it's a really basic calculator. And you can find the source code for it on this GitHub repository and clone it. So it basically consists of four files, really simple. And we have a calculator class that contains the core of the calculator that has this uh, these different operations that you see in the calculator. So how can we unit test this uh, small web application? So first I have uh, cloned the repository here, so we have it uh, in Visual Studio Code. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to import our dependency, so we need to get PHP unit into our application here. So first we're going to launch a terminal, so I will do composer require and then PHP unit, PHP unit. And I'm going to take version 9 for this example. The newest one is called 10, but I will um, I will use version 9 here. So we start Composer, and it will start to get the dependencies for uh, PHP Unit. So we can see now that Composer has finished installing PHP Unit, and we have the vendor directory here, and we have Composer, we have uh, PHP Unit, and some of the dependencies for that. So next up is we need to uh, yeah we can first we can inspect the version of uh, PHP unit by running vendor slash bin slash PHP unit and then dash dash version. So then we can see we have uh, nine five two. So next up is we need to write a configuration file for PHP unit and that is an XML configuration file that we can write. Uh, so we're going to make a new file called phpunit.xml and let's see here we're just going to make an xml version 1 and encoding utf 8. So next we will write uh, PHP unit and start the configuration. So the first configuration will be the bootstrap. Uh, how should PHP unit, uh, how do we load the files into PHP unit? So we're going to use the one that is specified in the vendor in the uh, that is located in here. So we're going to use Composer's autoloader to load classes into PHP unit. So we write that, vendor, yep. And next one is colors we can put on. That will, if we write true, then when we run the framework and the, uh, a test passes, for instance, it will be highlighted in green. And if it fails, it will be highlighted in red. So that can be a good thing to quickly see if we have a test that is failing. Then we have stop on failure, and that means that if we write false here, then the framework will continue to run the other tests uh, if we have one test that is failing, so it will not stop. Then we have, uh, we need to specify our test suite in here. And we just specify one test suite, and we need to specify a name for that. And since we're testing a calculator, let's just uh, call this calculator, our test suite. Okay, and then here we can also specify the 
the directory that our tests will be located in. So we write tests in here. Yes. And then just close up PHP unit like this. So we have specified that our test suite is called calculator and that it will be located in the directory called tests. So if we make a new directory called uh, tests, then we can see if we run, if we clear the terminal here and we run the command again, then it says no test executed because we don't have any test defined in our directory. So let's do that. So let's create a new file and that is called calculator test.php and php unit will automatically detect tests if they have been named with test in the end so we have calculator test so php unit will find this test and run it in the framework so what to put in this file well first we need to create a php opening tag here and then we need to make a class calculator test and it should extend the PHP unit framework and it should extend the test case. So now we have a class that is called calculator test and it extends the test case class in the PHP unit framework. So that's good. If we run the command again now to see what happens then we can see that no test found in class calculator tests. Okay, so it actually detected that we have a test class in here. So how can we write a test on this? Well, if we take a look in the calculator PHP file, we can see that we have a couple of functions here and I'm not gonna do tests for all of them, but if we take the add function first, this is a classic example of a function that we could use for a unit test because it doesn't have any dependencies other than the input parameters number one and number two and then it will output a value so we need to make sure that when we uh, provide two parameters and uh, then it will return what we expect so we can check in the framework if the returned output is what we expect so what we do in here is that we will do a public function let's call it test add and in here the first thing we could do is we could take we could make a calculator and we can see that we have have our calculator located in the app namespace up here it is in the app there so we will create it from here and then we can make a new uh, variable called result and then we can use our calculator to run the add method and let's take let's write 20 uh, plus 5 that should be 25 so we have a result and then we will write this because this will allow us to use all the assertions and that is really cool because we can use these assertions to uh, clarify if uh, our result is what we expect or not. And one of the frequently used assertions is called equals that will assert if two values are the same, are equals. The first parameter is the expected, so we expect 20 plus 5 to be 25. And the next one is the actual output, so that is our result from the calculator. Okay, so now we have made one assertion and we could we could make more in the same function, but if we should run the function right now, let's do PHP unit and then we can see we get an error here because it says class calculator not found. All right, and this is because we have not told PHP unit and composer where our app is what namespace our app is in. So first we need to just go into composer and then we need to modify the composer JSON file. We need to add uh, information about how uh, classes will be auto-loaded. 
And the way we do this is that we use this PSR4 way of writing this. And this is just a standard way of uh, writing how classes are to be auto-loaded. And we're using the app namespace in our calculator class. We can see we have app here. And then the app, app will be located in the app directory. So we can see that if we run it again, probably it will not work. We need to run composer update. So it says nothing to modify, but if we run our framework now, PHP unit, we can see that we have one test, one assertion, and that it has passed. And this is the the coloring that we configured in the PHP unit.xml. So if we did false here and run the framework again, we can see it just gives us this black and white look here. Okay, another thing also to notice that we just get a dot when we have one out of one that is passing. If we want to have a more verbose or another description of this uh, output, we could also do dash dash and then uh, test ducks. So we add this uh, flag to the command. So then we get calculator because this is our test suite that's called calculator. And we have the function called add and that is that comes from our the function name because it is the PHP unit is detecting that the function is called test add. Okay. So this is basically one way of doing PHP unit, unit testing. And if we should just add one more before we end the video, we can call this subtract. Subtract, so we will also write subtract here. Now we have 20 minus five, that should be 15. And if we run the PHP unit again, we can see that now we have two tests that are passing. Let's just get the coloring back again. Colors back online, so we will see the colors in a minute. Okay, and this is really, really good because now we have structured testing. If we made lots of unit testing, we can just run them after regularly. And we can also set up a complete pipeline. If we're using continuous integration and continuous deployment, then we can tell the pipeline that it should automatically run the tests and only deploy the app if they all succeed. So that would be really automated testing. And another thing that is also really good that if I, when I write the code, when I modify something and I make a mistake, when I, let's just imagine that I forgot to write two here, I just, in a haste, I just wrote number one, number one. And I just did notice it was saying one here. Then when I run my tests, I can see here that, okay, so I have a failure on subtract, failed asserting that zero matches expected 15. Hmm. So that is because in my test, I was subtracting 20 minus five. So that should be 15, but I get zero. Okay, so what's wrong here? So that means that I know that the expected is correct because that matches it here, but something is wrong with the result. And that would probably lead me into the calculator function here. And then I would expect to see, okay, we have an error in the subtract. That is in the subtract method. So what is wrong here? Okay, so I can see actually here that number one is declared, but not used. Okay, so I would correct it here and run the test again. It is really easy. I just fire one command and it runs the test again. Okay, so uh, this is what I wanted to demonstrate here. I hope you can uh, make this work and have fun with us. Bye-bye.